I want to talk to you today about three things. Three things. I want to talk about trust, faith, and maturity. Trust, faith, and maturity. Those three things. First, let's talk about trust. A trust is the ability to be firm, have a firm belief in a reliability in truth. The ability or the strength of someone or something. Complete trust or confidence in someone or something. That's trust. Trust in the confidence and the ability of something or the strength of something. Let's say this bench. I trust that this bench can hold me. Right, because it's been tested, I saw it tried, and it helped me before. So I kind of trust it will hold me again. Not necessarily it will, but trust it will. Uh, like sitting in a chair. Sitting in a chair, I trust the chair is going to hold because I, I trust it because it's been tried and tested. But So trust is uh, really something that we kind of go over a period of time, we learn, we develop trust. Now uh, I want to talk about faith. What is the meaning of faith? Well, faith is... Uh, it's in the Bible, it's Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, What faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It is the confident assurance that something that we want, we know is going to happen. That's faith. It is the certainty that we hope for, hope that what we're hoping for is waiting for. It. Even though we cannot see it ahead, we have faith to believe that it's already done. Coming our way, God's already prepared it, and by faith we receive it. We have the substance and evidence of the thing. You know, we don't see the thing. We just believe by faith that we have the thing. Uh, something like the shield of faith or the whole armor of God. You can't really see the army of God. It talks about the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, I mean, the breastplate of righteousness, uh, the shield of faith, uh, your feet shot with the perfect of the gospel of truth, your lungs girded about with truth. We talk about uh, 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 those things that maybe are unseen because they fight principalities and powers. So, but faith, unseen, but it's substance. Okay, Jesus is the source of our faith. It's in the Bible. It's in Luke 17 and 5. Uh, one day the apostles said, Lord, we need more faith. Tell us how to get it. And Jesus said, well, faith come by hearing. And hearing comes by the word of God, meaning by Christ, right? Faith come by hearing. So hearing the message of Christ gives you faith. Real faith is believing that in, in what Christ has already done for us. That's real faith. What Christ has already done for us is real faith. Uh, Romans 5 and 1 says something like this. So now, since we have... Uh, been made the righteousness of God in Christ through faith, in the sight of God through faith in His promises, then we can have peace uh, with God believing that it's already done because of Christ. That's faith. So truth, uh, trusting in the ability of things. Faith is trusting in the things you can't see, but by faith, receiving is done. And the last thing I, would, uh, I hit on faith is this. Faith is trusting God in everything. It's in the Bible, Hebrews uh, 10 and 38. And those who, whose faith has made them uh, good in God's sight must live by faith, trusting Him in everything, trusting in Him for everything. Otherwise, if we think about that, if we shrink back from our faith and uh, uh, don't have faith in God, God said we'll, we'll get nothing from Him. So you got to have faith. So uh, now let's go into the maturity. Trust, faith, and maturity. So maturity is a state fact of or period of being mature. Now maturity is when something reaches its full level of development. It has achieved maturity. When it reaches its full level of development, it achieves maturity. Uh, easy enough uh, said when you're talking about a perfectly ripe peach reaching maturity. That's pretty easy to do. But when it comes to human beings, it's a lot more uh, tougher to accomplish. It's not that easy to achieve. But some people might be physically mature which is to say that they are fully and physically grown up, but they don't exhibit the signs of emotional maturity, such as the willingness to accept responsibility, to maintain pause in serious situations for a long period of time after the situation. Uh, in psychology, maturity is the response to the environment in an, in an appropriate manner. Uh, and for this reason, in this response, uh, we say that that's maturity. And it's generally learned uh, rather than instinctive. So when you deal with this business, guys, it's the same way. You're gonna need trust, you're gonna need faith, you're gonna need maturity. You gotta trust, man, trust in yourself, man. Trust in the ability that God has given you. Trust in the strength that God has put inside of you. Trust it, trust it. You gotta trust that, man. And, and it's been tried. You've been tried in the fire, guys. You've been proven, you've been tested. And God knows you can make it. Guarantee he knows that. He said it, it's done, it's finished. And then faith. Have faith that God has actually promised and structured and ordered your steps. He's covered you. He's, he's made promises to you. And his thoughts towards you are good and not of evil. You have a successful end. Believe all this stuff. Believe it by faith. Even if you don't see it, believe it. Right? Trust it is already done. 
And now the maturity part is this, is to be stable enough at this time to make reasonable decisions concerning your business, concerning your life, concerning your trust, concerning your faith, concerning your God. So folks, be steadfast, be unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. In this business, give it all you got. This is no time to be shaken. This is no time to be moved. This is a time for you to dig down deep and be mature in your business and take charge of it. And then make it happen. I mean, really go make it happen. That's right, go do something. Every day in your business, do a building process, make a new commitment, uh, make a new uh, desire within yourself, right, to move forward and to be successful in this business. Let's do this, guys. Uh, this is, the business is pretty simple. The toughest part about the business is maintaining trust, is keeping your faith, and maturing to the point that you won't be moved, you won't be shaken, you won't be stopped, and you know that God's got to wait for you. Dr. Jerry Brown, I'll see you at the top. Come on, guys, let's make it happen.